and guess what it is 6 45 it is 5 45 friday morning we are going to measure the car again and no shirt today yeah that is stupid it is freezing cold it is only 24 or something well it's friday morning and we are doing the same shit as we did the other mornings measuring the state of health of the car reading the dog and then we have breakfast finally i was actually just wondering why not more than 600 people have unsubscribed of my channel by now watching me doing the same shit every morning again and again and again and are you not bored yes and we are exactly at 80 percent 80.7 percent state of charge close to six o'clock so i'll give it another um, 20 minutes half an hour as always as every morning and yes here's the sun coming just now it's all the same it's all the same and we have not lost capacity yet but i haven't turned on the car yet so let's wait for that and if you have watched that far this morning congratulations and welcome to another episode of unplugged tv australia um breakfast Okay, we are at 88.8% stopping the charge now. Eighty-eight point eight percent, thirty-two ampere hours. Plenty of juice. Welcome to a sunny sunny and warm morning we've got 25 degrees outside beautiful so you may have seen the video from yesterday when i talked about the phev battery replacement chaos we are facing at the moment obviously there's no straight line for mitsubishi what to do what procedure to follow most dealers have no idea they haven't done it yet they that's the first battery replacement they ever do well I guess this is the service you get when you adopt new technology and so far we have four cars of our team who got a new battery as explained in the video yesterday the first car is the strangest one with showing 40 ampere hours in the dog and having a very good EV range but not cutting into the top buffer of the battery as you would expect it the second car was my one and it was disappointing when I picked it up at 96.1% state of charge seven degradations so far in 14 16 days now and about 900 kilometers driven so my battery has dropped by two percent already in a little bit over two weeks the uh, third car started with 96.5 percent state of health and had only two degradations so far but it has traveled only 100 kilometers yet the fourth car yesterday showed 100% state of health and 38 ampere hours as it should be interestingly as this uh, guy reported to us that when he picked up the car in Adelaide at the workshop over there I think it was the Mitsubishi headquarter actually he was in he told us that there were at least four more PHEVs in the workshop getting a battery replacement so i found this very interesting because i always thought we are the only ones who get battery replaced in the phev but apparently there's more if this is the case it looks like mitsubishi has got a huge problem with the batteries here and i really don't know why they are still keeping replacing the batteries instead of fixing the software Clearly the software, the software is broken, at least not running optimal. Having trouble calculating the state of health of the battery correctly and setting all the parameters accordingly. Well, if there are more cars which get the battery replaced in such a large 
style. Then I would say this car is a lemon. And it's not it does not fit for the purpose of anyone. If you experience battery degradation of 30% with 50,000 kilometers. And that's what we have seen in other cars. And then when we look at the 2019 model, it's not looking great either. We have so many reports now that we can be certain that this is not normal. It cannot be normal. I mean, this drop in capacity. Of course, the owner um, say also, look, I cannot feel any degradation or any range loss at the moment with the car. It's all... Why is this on? But uh, as we discussed before, the, the driver gets better and if you have the car new, you adapt your driving style. You're driving more carefully than you did before. Your energy consumption goes down and this compensates for the range loss you usually would experience. So I will send another email this um, weekend to Mitsubishi Australia and highlight our four cars again and how different they are, how different they perform and I will ask for clarification of course and see what they are come up with. And still we have no information about what kind of procedures the dealerships have done. Apparently there's a big communication issue between dealerships and Mitsubishi Motors Australia like probably in other countries as well I don't know but from what we can see here from what we get back from Mitsubishi saying we haven't heard back from your dealer yet okay then probably educate your dealer and say this is a high priority task you're working on if you're ready collect all the data and send them through immediately to us so we can act on it but uh, this is this is not how it works in there apparently this is it's a big company and if the dealership has not reported any information back to the mothership within one week I would probably say this has not a high priority for them okay guys so far this morning summary of what has happened during the week I'm still doing my not charged to 100% test this is day number five I have had no further degradation for three days now so let's see if it makes a difference at all what's going on fourth place only this morning I'm not that late <clears throat> got 24 kilometers in the gasometer 65 percent no problem at all and I reckon we are gaining another 1.4 ampere hours <laughs> of course this is just a guess it's ampere hours that is amazing 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 Welcome back guys, it's Friday afternoon weekend. Oh. Five days at work, that's just not good. Ah, look at this, we have arrived with seven kilometers left, including the air condition on. Eight kilometers without, better leave it on. So no further degradation loss for the last three days. I think we had three days before, let me just check this. It was the same day. One day, one day, two days, two days. Oh, we had four days in between here and three days in between here. So four days was the maximum, we are at three. We will go to our normal shopping tour on the weekend. So I will see what the car does and the battery, if it stacks up. I doubt it will, I doubt it will. And even if so, this is not how you're supposed to drive the car you should not pay attention when the battery is at 80 percent and then stop the charge just to prolong battery life or to please the software this is a plug and forget car you plug it in you leave it in and then 
you unplug and you drive and you come back home you plug it back in that's how it's supposed to work and it works great apart from um, this um, well if you don't have the dog you probably won't notice for a long time and then you will realize oh I haven't got the range anymore something is not right and then you blame the winter the colder weather for it but then it turns summer again and you still have got the same crappy range and then you think hmm it might be the battery degradation which has kicked in now but the battery degradation is happening far 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 sooner far sooner okay guys so on the weekend I have planned to do the range test with a new battery finally I don't want to wait until it degrades even further and it, it was just too hot the last couple of days so I wanted to have similar conditions about uh, 30 degrees outside and we do the 60 kilometer test and the 100 kilometer per hour test I've done these two tests with the old battery on 70% state of health already I'll show you these videos first and then we do the same test with the new battery and see what actually the difference is and if this is 30%. I will use the cruise control on 60 km per hour on 100 km per hour to have the same conditions, the same driving style conditions on the same route. It will be interesting. Okay guys, so far this little short video with nothing happening nothing has happened today amazing as always guys thanks so much for watching thanks for your support this is andy from unplugged tv australia signing off for today and we will see us shortly again in the next video okay you stay charged and bye bye